Hi everybody, I'm Trin Johnson and welcome to Dust in My Eye. The other day I was at Stony Creek painting my smallest palette video, which I'll pop a link in the corner. And uh, I took some video and some photos around the corner in another room of this bird feeder and this little chipmunk kept running in front of both windows. And uh, I watched the chipmunk and a couple chipmunks. I think in the end there was like four. Some birds. I saw all sorts of birds. Little reddish-headed ones. And there was a morning dove for a while. And these teeny-weeny little sparrows or chickadees. I'm not sure what they were. And then there was this hummingbird. You can see him better in this one. I was trying to get a good picture of them, but they don't stand still. And then I saw this cute little squirrel. He was just a little guy with a skinny little red tail. And uh, he was posing for me pretty cute. It was a lot of fun. And I decided to sketch real quick the bird feeder. I changed things a little bit just for uh, artistic license purposes so it wasn't so crowded and uh, this time I was using my watercolor markers and uh, it was a lot of fun and now I had a cushy chair when I was doing the other video I was standing so that I could see the view I wanted because it you couldn't see the river if you were sitting at that window and there had been someone sitting over in this area so I didn't want to disturb them but uh, I'm just drawing it in with a water soluble pencil and just hints of the birds and things I saw because of course they weren't posing for me right now I decided to put a little chipmunk body in the down on the right in a little squirrel body on the left, although I turned the squirrel around. But uh, I was going to record on my new camera, and I forgot the, um, the memory card. <laughs> so I was recording on my phone, so I couldn't use my phone to see uh, a... Um, view of the chipmunk and the birds. I was kind of doing it by memory. And as they came and went, it was like drawing a moving target. So I sped this up because um, it's just a little sketch. And there's a lot of me fiddling around trying to find the right color, um, which kind of marker, getting the water, which was on the left side, because that's where the table was. I, I, it, it's a little, just a sketch. Nothing fancy. But I had a lovely afternoon sitting there. It was not the sunniest day, so there weren't a ton of people everywhere. There was a lot of um, goldenrod around the grass, in the grass by the bird feeders. So I'm trying to get that bright yellow because it was really neat. And the whole path around the building um, I use the term loosely because it's not a walking path. It was an area under the bird feeder and around the corner to another bird feeder. Um, 
was all little rocks and pebbles and there were some grayish ones and bluish ones and brownish ones and that's what I'm trying to get in right now. It was kind of an interesting picture though because you could see the side of the building which was all stone and that was kind of neat and that kind of frames the one side and then the woods was on the right side with this nice path that draws your eye in. I have this Fabriano Artistico paper that I ripped and folded and I have like two sheets of it. So there's like eight different pictures. I'll probably rip some more paper and get like maybe five or ten sheets or signatures and put them together and have a real sketchbook in here <laughs> when I get a chance. That's a whole nother video. Right now, it works like this. It's, it's fine. It's really nice paper to do marker work on, though. Watercolor marker. I don't think I would do alcohol marker on it. Now I moved the other bird feeder over and did that one instead of the suet bird feeder. I thought it was more aesthetically pleasing. And here I'm just getting a background color in for my rocks. There's a whole little wood section of the window behind. That's the window I had been standing at before around the corner was in that little nook. not trying to get an exact um, painting, <laughs> drawing. I'm just going for an impression. It was fun to experiment with different techniques of making the pens do what I wanted them to do. I have added to my supply of Tombos and it was fun to give them a chance to get out of the bag and do some painting. All in all, I stood there for probably, or sat there, I should say, this time, for probably an hour-ish. But it was very quiet. There was no one else in the room. The night before we had had a big storm and lost power and uh, it took another couple days to get it back. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't anxious to come back home there. I really couldn't do much. So this was a good place for me to spend my time.
I did call first to make sure that they had power at the um, nature center since I was trying to go in the building. It's more of an illustrative kind of a sketch, which I think markers lend themselves to that pretty nicely. And now there were some branches coming up through the weeds. Trying to uh, strengthen the yellows so that I don't lose my goldenrod. Now I'm trying to fill in the leaves of the trees and the weeds that are behind the goldenrod. was some of little bits of fall coming in the greenery too. It's that time of year already. Now I'm just trying to roughly, and I mean roughly, get the chipmunk and the squirrel in. But like I said, I had no reference right in front of me because, of course, neither of them were there at this moment. It's like they knew I wanted them to be there. You know what? It's a hint of little creatures under <laughs> the bird feeder. Just trying to work on the contrast a little bit. Really make the stems of the goldenrod stand out. bird, the oranges. And I'm going to sign and date it. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, 
And if you want to be notified, hit the cute little bell. And if you would like to, please check out my Etsy shop where I have prints of my artwork along with cute little monsters and some other fun stuff for sale. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.